Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the 1972 TV series, Sanford and Son. All cast then and now in 2023. So sit down grab a popcorn relax and enjoy the video. Number 1. Red Fox. At the time of acting this series. He was 50 years of age. But sadly. He died on the 11th of October 1991. Red Fox died of a heart attack on the set, during a break from rehearsals for the royal family. He died at the age of 68. Red Fox. Played the respective role of Fred Sanford, a sarcastic, streetwise, and irascible schemer, whose frequent get-rich-quick ideas routinely backfired. His son Lamont, longs for independence, but loves his father too much to move out and leave him unsupervised. Number 2. Lawanda Page. At the time of acting this series. She was 53 years of age. But unfortunately. Lawanda Page, died on the 14th of September 2002. It was reported, that she died of a heart attack, following complications from diabetes, at the age of 81. She played the respective role of Aunt Esther Anderson, the Bible-toting sister of Fred's late wife, Elizabeth. Esther is a staunchly religious, and rather humorless character, though she is very kind and loving towards her nephew Lamont. Number 3. Nathaniel Taylor. At the time of acting this series. Nathaniel Taylor, was 34 years of age. But sadly. He died on the 27th of February 2019. Taylor died of a heart attack, at the age of 80. He played the respective role of Rollo Larson. Lamont's best friend. Fred will often make disrespectful remarks towards Rollo, usually stating that he thinks Rollo is a criminal, as Rollo had spent time in jail. At one time, when Rollo introduced Lamont to his African cultural heritage, Fred thought it was a scam, and noted that if there was money to be made, Rollo would become an Eskimo. Number 4. Lynn Hamilton. At the time of acting this series. She was 42 years of age. But as of now in 2023. She is currently 93 years of age. She played the respective role of Donna Harris. Fred's on again, an off again girlfriend, who later becomes his fiancee. She is employed as a practical nurse. Donna is an amiable, and even tempered lady, who takes in stride, Fred's shenanigans and occasional trysts. She also appears to be more sophisticated in contrast to Fred's rather blunt and boorish personality. Number 5. Hal Williams. At the time of acting this series. He was 34 years of age. But as of now in 2023. He is currently 85 years of age. He played the respective role of Officer Smith, a police officer who occasionally shows up at the Sanford's residence, always accompanied by another officer, as his partner, who delivers punchlines to Williams's straight man set-up lines. Number 6. Don Bexley. At the time of acting this series. He was 62 years of age. But sadly. He died on 15th of April 1997. It was reported, that he died of heart and kidney failure, at Hampton Sentara Hospital, at the age of 87. Don Bexley. Played the respective role of Bubba Bexley, another of Fred's friends, who appears frequently, alternating with Grady as Fred's best friend. Bubba is known for his infectious belly laugh, and jovial personality. He is primarily a straight man to set up punchlines for Fred. His loud greeting of Hey Fred, drives Fred and Lamont crazy. Number 7. Howard Platt. At the time of acting this series. He was 34 years of age. But as of now in 2023. Howard Platt, is currently 85 years of age. He played the respective role of Officer Hopkins, a police officer, who occasionally shows up at the Sanford's residence. Often, Hoppy incorrectly uses jive slang, which Smitty corrects, for example, cold instead of cool, torn off instead of ripped off, or right up instead of right on. Conversely, the ever-professional Hoppy, delivers a speech filled with police jargon and big words, which confuses Fred and Lamont thus turning to Smitty, who would translate Hoppy's speech into jive. Number 8. Gregory Sierra. At the time of acting this series. He was 35 years of age. But sadly. He died on 4th of January 2021. It was reported, that he passed away at his home in Laguna Woods, California, at the age of 83. His wife, Helene Sierra, said that the cause was stomach and liver cancer. Gregory Sierra. Played the respective role of Julio Fuentes, the Sanford's Puerto Rican next-door neighbor, who befriends Lamont. When Julio and his family move in next to the Sanfords, 
Fred takes an immediate dislike to them and remarks, there goes the neighborhood. Despite Julio's friendliness, Fred often makes insulting ethnic jokes about Julio, and openly wishes he would return to Puerto Rico, even though Julio is originally from New York City. Number 9. Whitman Mayo. At the time of acting this series. He was 43 years of age. But unfortunately, Whitman Mayo, died on the 22nd of May 2001. He died of a heart attack, at Atlanta's Grady Memorial Hospital, at the age of 70. He played the respective role of Grady Wilson, Fred's good-natured and simple-minded best friend, who appears regularly on the show. Grady's catchphrase is good googly goo. He utters this when something good happens, or he is in a pleasant mood. Number 10. Pat Morita. At the time of acting this series. Pat Morita, was 42 years of age. But sadly. He died on the 24th of November 2005. Pat Morita died of kidney failure, following a urinary tract, and gallbladder infection, at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 73. He played the respective role of Colonel Hayekua, a Chinese-American, and friend of Lamont. Whom Fred belittles every chance he gets. Fred insults Ah Chu on numerous occasions using cliched oriental jokes. Number 11. Marlene Clark. At the time of acting this series. She was 39 years of age. But sadly. She died on the 18th of May 2023. She died of natural causes, at her home in Los Angeles, at the age of 85. She played the respective role of Janet Lawson, a divorcee, that Lamont begins dating in the fifth season. Janet also has a young son, Roger. The Lawsons appear occasionally until Lamont and Janet break up in the sixth and final season, due to the return of Janet's ex-husband. Number 12. Raymond Allen. At the time of acting this series. He was 45 years of age. But unfortunately. He died on the 10th of August 2020. The actor had been living at a long-term care facility in California, when he was found unresponsive early Monday morning, according to TMZ. His family told the outlet that his cause of death was a sudden respiratory illness, but was not COVID-related. Raymond Allen. Played the respective role of Uncle Woodrow Anderson. Number 13. Demon Wilson. At the time of acting this series. He was 26 years of age. But as of now in 2023. He is currently 77 years of age. Demon Wilson. Played the respective role of Lamont Sanford, Fred's son, who has little patience for his father's antics. Lamont sometimes receives his comeuppance for disdaining his father's habits. He is occasionally shown as naive and foolish, for example, being cheated by a group of card sharps, and falling for a scam involving an antique commode. Lamont continuously seeks to rise above his station, and experience life outside of the junkyard. Okay guys. Thank you so much for watching my content. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and share the video.